Dear children, so previous class, we saw the chemistry lab in the manufacture of chlorine. So that is the chlorine halogen group. First, we saw the chlorine. So chlorine is the manufacturing of chlorine. Electrolytic process. So we can take sodium chloride, the dianosin to Na plus and Cl minus. Then water ionosin to H plus and OH minus. That Na plus reacts with OH minus to form a sodium hydroxide. So, epimic cathode is the reduction, that is a gain of electron. Anode epimic is the oxidation loss of electron. So, next process is a decon process, which is very very important. In this process, mixture of air and hydrochloric acid. So, we will mix the hydrochloric acid. We will mix the air and the air. So, air contains oxygen. So, we will mix the air. The acid is a positive up. A chamber containing number of shells. So, if we look at the chamber, we can see the decon process in the chamber. So, we can see the shelf in the chamber. So, pumice stone soaked in cuprous chloride. So, underline the word. So, pumice stone soaked in cuprous chloride. So, cuprous chloride, we can see the pumice stone. Pumice stone is one sulfuric compound. So, we can see the shelf in the chamber. One of the space in the shelf is in the shelf. Hot gases at about 723 Kelvin are passed through jacket that surrounds the chamber. Okay, wow. so now we have hot gases on the supply. 723 Kelvin on the chamber is the supply. So hydrochloric acid reacts with oxygen. So at 400 degrees Celsius, cuprous chloride form a Cl2. Okay, wow. So that is to form a water, then chlorine molecule is obtained. The chlorine obtained by this method is dilute and is employed for the manufacture of uh, bleaching powder. The catalyzed reaction is given below. So, we will use the bleaching powder on the preparation. So, we will use the cuprous chloride reactions. Cuprous chloride that is reacts with oxygen. Cuprous oxychloride. So, instead of uh, cuprous, uh, we can uh, use uh, calcium. Uh, so, previous uh, reaction. So calcium oxychloride that is similar to the bleaching powder formula that is a Cu2O Cl2 that is a cuprous oxychloride. That cuprous oxychloride reacts with the hydrochloric acid to form cupric chloride that is a uh, cupric chloride. So cupric chloride means uh, uh, in this case copper having a oxidation state is a plus 2. Cuprous means uh, uh, copper having an oxidation state is a plus 1. So, okay. So, that is a cuprous and cupric. Okay. So, oxidation state is a cupric. Then, we will be stressed. Okay. Wow. So, that by byproduct is a water. That uh, cupric chloride decomposes into cuprous chloride and a chlorine molecule. So, this is the decon process. which is an uh, important naming reaction also. So, 3 mark like a panga. Mark panikonga. Then physical properties, uh, chlorine is a greenish yellow gas. So it is very very important one more. Chlorine is a greenish yellow gas with a pungent irritating order. So that is a pungent irritating order. Okay, wow. It produces headache uh, when inhaled even in small quantities whereas inhalation of large quantities could be fatal. So we have to headache like this. Small quantities of Ladigama Pochana, Namakabinaka, or Mari vomiting on the Maikamara Madrirko. Okay, wow. It, uh, it is a uh, 2.5 times uh, heavier than air. So, yar could compare Panamode, Ethan times heavier, 2.5 times on the heavier arc. So, chlorine is soluble in water and the solution is referred to as a chlorine water. So, number chlorine on the other soluble Pananga, waterless soluble Pananga. So, that is called chlorine water. It deposits greenish yellow crystals of chlorine hydrate. So, how do we deposit it? One mark. So, how do we deposit it? Greenish yellow crystals of chlorine hydrate. Okay, wow. So, how do we deposit it? Greenish yellow crystals of chlorine hydrate. It can be converted into liquid and yellow crystalline solid. So, liquid is more than we have yellow crystalline solid. So, the melting point and boiling point we will provide. So, we will get 2 more. Okay, wow. So, next we will go to the topic is chemical properties. So, we will go to the topic is chemical properties. So, action with the metals and the non-metals. It reacts with the metals and non-metals to give the corresponding chlorides. 
So sodium reacts with the chlorine to form sodium chloride. Iron reacts with the chlorine that is a uh, ferric chloride. So for this case, so iron or the oxidation state when the padina plus three. So ferric chloride I've been so long. So adipla aluminium reacts with the chlorine means it to form aluminium chloride. Then copper reacts with the chlorine means in anaka copper chloride. So then a hydrogen reacts with the chlorine to form hydrochloric acid. So delta H value is minus 44 kilocalorie. So it is very very important book in our one mark. So next a reaction with the non-metals. So boron reacts with the chlorine, boron trichloride. Then sulfur reacts with the chlorine, disulfur dichloride, S2, Cl2. Then phosphorus reacts with the six molecules of chlorine means a phosphorus trichloride is a form. Then arsenic reacts with the three molecules of chlorine means arsenic chloride form. So arsenic chloride, arsenic chloride. Okay, ma. Then antimony reacts with the chlorine to form antimony trichloride is a formed. Okay, ma. So next affinity for hydrogen. When burnt with the turpentine, it forms a carbon and a hydrochloric acid. So turpentine oil non clear when burnt with the turpentine it forms a carbon it forms enough form panna carbon apna hydrochloric acid form panna so okay va? so that is a turpentine that is the biggest molecule that is a oily molecule C10H16 uh, it is reacts with the water abdin pathing naka 8Cl2 chlorine molecule to form a carbon that is a coke then a nanaka hydrochloric acid. So it forms a dioxygen when treating react uh, treat, uh, when reacting with the water in the presence of sunlight. So okay, well, in the presence of sunlight. So the chlorine or either way, in the presence of sunlight, absence of sunlight, in the, in the presence of dark, up in certain area reactions when they are So the chlorine when sometimes some of the chemicals could night the react on some of the chemicals could sunlight in the react on. Okay, well. When chlorine water is exposed to sunlight loses its color and the smell as the chlorine is converted into uh, hydrochloric acid. So there is a chlorine molecule that is reacts with the water in the presence of sunlight to form a dioxygen. Uh, next byproduct is a hydrochloric acid. Chlorine reacts with ammonia to give ammonium chloride and other product as shown below. So excess ammonia. So we will do the overall reaction which is step by step. So first we can take a two molecules of ammonia that is a reacts with the three molecules of chlorine to form nitrogen. So in a form of nitrogen then six molecules of hydrochloric acid. Then that is six molecules of hydrochloric acid reacts with six molecules of ammonia to form anaka ammonium chloride. Six molecules of ammonium chloride. So next to overall reaction. So eight molecules of ammonia. Uh, in the ammonia, in the ammonia, we have total panitang. 8 molecules of ammonia that is reacts with the 3 molecules of chlorine to form nitrogen, then 6 molecules of ammonium chloride. Okay. So next, pathina, ammonia, uh, 1 molecule of ammonia that is reacts with 3 molecules of chlorine to form nitrogen trichloride, which is a very very important nitrogen trichloride, then ananaka hydrochloric acid. That hydrochloric acid reacts with the three molecules of nanaka ammonia to form three molecules of ammonium chloride. So overall reaction. In the render reactions ko overall reaction. So we can take in the three murka in the one arka four molecules of ammonia that is reacts with three molecules of chlorine to form nitrogen trichloride, then three molecules of ammonium chloride. Okay. So this is a, you have to maintain the class notes, then a test or na Thank you, children's.